Buy traps. They come to us from Plow and Hearth, who I typically think of for garden items, and I love what they bring right. us in the garden. Garden. They're so beautiful. But now they're bringing us a nice little size fruit fly trap that looks beautiful, five inches high by. I'm sorry, five inches wide by. Um, no, five inch, five inches by four inches. Seventeen dollars and forty-two cents gets this home, and five five six nine two. And we have a lot of gorgeous choices. We Nancy, do. Can you walk me through them because they're all sure. a little different. Exactly. So um, we'll start here and maybe in front of me. Okay. So what you have is your choice of glass fruit fly trap, and each one is done just a little bit differently. Right here in front, we have our strawberry, just beautifully so dimpled, cute. like it's got the seeds on it. And then up here, we have our peach, which is new this year, Aww. almost like a Murano glass, that Italian glass. Look at the different colors, like a beautifully ripened peach. Yeah. And then in the front here, we have a crackle glass pear, a beautiful gorgeous green these pear. are all really pretty yep they're all hand-blown glass beautifully done here is our pineapple with like a hobnail design and then our grapes nice bumpy beautiful juicy grapes <laughs> and then our new one Aww, right now is our pumpkin fall. love this pumpkin gorgeous orange and then in front of you where it all began our crackle glass apple Oh, so beautiful. These are so cute. They all serve the same function. You yes. just order your favorite design and 55692. And just so you know, on the Plow and Hearth website, one of these would be $20 plus you still have to pay for shipping and handling. Here you're saving because you're picking it up for $17.42. But talk to me about how this works. Okay, so I have fruit flies in yes. my home. What's the first thing I do? So what you're going to do is come down for coffee and you're going to see fruit flies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I went to the market yesterday and I put my fruit out to um, ripen and now I have fruit flies. So you're going to find things that you already have in your cabinet, apple cider vinegar, some water, uh, equal parts of apple cider vinegar, water, and then some liquid dish soap. You're gonna mix that up and then you're going to tip your fruit fly trap sideways. Maybe use a funnel if you need to. You're pouring in only about a tablespoon is all that's necessary to go in that reservoir. Then what you wanna make sure to do is Get rid of the fruit that's that's ripening on your counter because you don't want them to be drawn to that. You want them to be drawn to the trap. Right. As you saw by the animation, they go up underneath that's in why it has here, feet. and it has feet. They go up under here, and there's a hole right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm gonna take the top out. You can see my shirt through there. Yeah. There's the hole right in there, and there's like a little volcano up inside there, and the reservoir is created. That's where the the um, bait is going to go in. The so solution. I don't fill it up entirely. You're not filling it up right because there isn't the ability because it would leak out right. so when you're filling it fill it over your sink use a funnel to fill it in the side and then all you need is just a little bit because fruit fries are little they don't need a lot to be drawn to right and so the key is though make sure to take that fruit put it in the refrigerator or get rid of it if it's n if it's, it's um, over right mm -hmm. run your garbage disposal check your garbage can make sure that some you know fruit juice didn't get on there because that's what they're drawn to other than something else. So what right. you need to do is make this the thing they want to go to, then you're going to catch them. So many people just use like a glass, a clear glass and put plastic wrap on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, then you're seeing something that looks awful and people know that's what you're doing. Yeah, so now they right? know it's a fruit fly trap. Right, this is just beautiful on your counter even if you are not trying to catch fruit flies, no, it looks true. Pretty. Actually, I, I've been to a lot of homes where they have these kind of decorative fruits mm -hmm. in their kitchen anyways, either plastic or glass, and they kind of put it in a bowl. This is the same exact concept, but it actually serves a function. And I mean, when you're not using it as a fruit fly trap, it's really pretty on its own. So ideally, do we want to place this trap near our fruit? No, actually what you want to do is move that fruit. See that right there? They're going to be drawn to that big old pile of apples. They might go, you know, a couple of them might go into the trap, but if they've got those apples there, um, I think that, you know, they might prefer the big pile of apples. So what you want to do is make sure to get rid of the fruit so that they're drawn to the lure that's in the trap. Okay. So clean out those things, make sure that you've checked your pantry, make sure yeah. that you, you know, get rid of any fruit that might be sitting on the counter, then they're going to be able to come to this. So again, it's it's one part apple cider vinegar, yep. one part water, okay. and then put some liquid dish soap in there. That kind of makes it a little bit sticky. And then you're going to pour this into the, um, the trap. You're gonna take off the lid, 
uh, the little stopper. So there you go. You're mixing it up and tip it. Put it over your sink just to make sure that it doesn't drip out. And I'm not a very a tablespoon. About a tablespoon. I'm okay. not a very neat pourer, so I <laughs> ended up dripping some all over. So do it over your sink or use a funnel. Then you see that the fruit flies are going to be drawn up inside of it. See like that little volcano there? They're yep. going up through that hole into. It's about a tablespoon in there. You're not going to be filling it up. You're just putting about a tablespoon in there. You don't really need a lot. And they're going to be drawn to the scent of that as opposed to the over ripening fruit that's on your counter right. and so so then, if it's not over ripe like if I have green bananas and I have this next to it that's fine right it should be fine yeah I would still say you know probably your best bet to make sure that you're catching them because what will happen is there might be laying eggs in those bananas Ew. Too, right <laughs> so that just me sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> apologize everyone <laughs> Didn't mean to spoil your breakfast. Okay, so this is why we want them out of the house. That's right, because okay. they're just, you know what? It has nothing to do with cleanliness or anything. It just has to do it's with just fruit. Nature. They mm. come in from the grocery store. They come in from the farmer's market on the fruit. And so everyone has them. You know, you all wake up. Yeah. I saw them out, you know, while while we were getting mic'd up. I saw a few out there because we have because fruit Because we there. have fruit out there. And it's you know true. what? The other day when I was getting ready for my shows, I was sitting at my kitchen table and all of a sudden I saw one. And I was like, you know what? I had just gone to the local farmer's market in the Amish country where near we live. And I brought home some peaches. They were on the counter ripening. Peaches are peaches. big offender. And I was like, oh my God, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. I got out my fruit fly trap, filled it up. In fact, I have a video on my Facebook page. Oh, Nancy you showed B, us? Nancy B for QVC. And I show you how to do it. You also and post recipes. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of pictures of birds and my dog. <laughs> Um, so let me quickly remind you of the choices. It started with the apple. Yes. For the fall, we've brought you a cute little pumpkin. And this, the topper comes off. That's how you fill it. Just tip to the side. We have our little plumpy grapes. grapes. The little pineapple, which is, of course, that universal sign of hospitality. The little pear. This one is a little peach. peach. Oh, mm -hmm. so cute. It even has a little dimple that you find on peaches. And then we have the little strawberry down at the end. They're really, really pretty on their own. $17.42 to get at home. Again, the Plow and Hearth website is just under $20, so you're saving there. And 55692. Thank you so much, Nancy. And Plow and Hearth created these. Right, which we love. I love them. Thank you. All right, in just a minute, we are going to wet and forget. So you have that green stuff.